Coming up next, it's a heavyweight clash between Stipe Miocic and Stefan Struve. Enter this young fighter here, his kicks as powerful as anyone in the sport at present. And not only that, but he'll do major damage just by landing a couple of them. Oftentimes, all it will take one kick to the body just underneath that elbow or a kick to the lead leg, and you can change the entire complexion of the fight. Very curious to see how it plays out for this powerful kicker in this matchup tonight. Stefan Struve comes from a Dutch kickboxing background and has a towering reach advantage over most of his opponents. He's also an extremely effective submission artist and ends a lot of his fights by locking in a choke. He is the UFC heavyweight champion, Croatian American Stipe Miocic. He wanted to be a professional baseball player, but ultimately left that goal in pursuit of mixed martial arts glory. And you all remember when he knocked out Fabricio Verdum in Brazil, no less, to realize that UFC heavyweight gold in 2016. They are still all chasing Stipe Miocic in this UFC heavyweight division. This guy has one punch knockout power. And when a fighter has that kind of ability, it's always a big advantage. Hard tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Miacic is six years his senior. Struve weighed in at 265 pounds. He will have a four inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon, here is Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 32 wins, 10 losses, standing seven feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Body on a beaver with the Netherlands, step on skyscraper! And now can see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. A wrestler holding a professional record of 18 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Independence, Ohio, Steve Hay! When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Ready? You ready? Well, it seems like this is an annual stop for the MMA leader as we are back and now underway with live action from United Center in the Windy City, Chicago. Oh! oh huge right hand! hand! Vicious, vicious punch combinations here. Oh! Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? Both guys landing with conviction now. Traction oh. there with the right hand. Body kick, look at that. How about that chin? That one hurt. He went for an elbow. Oh, well, you can't enter the pocket there unprotected. You gotta figure out a way to get your... Nasty leg kick! Good. He's not gonna be able to continue. That's it, it's over. TKO early in the first round. Big shots landed. Yeah, you're right, Joe. It was that one big strike that started it all, led to the knockdown, and ultimately opened up an opportunity for him to force the referee stoppage in this fight. He was flurrying. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Here we see it from another camera angle. And here we see it from a different angle. So a huge win by TKO for him here tonight. A seminal moment in his UFC career. And that could hold up as one of the better TKOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest. 
at one minute, 25 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Stipe Miocic. All right, so Stipe Miocic remains the UFC heavyweight champion, and he does so with style points here tonight. You've heard Stipe talk a lot about the pride and responsibility of remaining the UFC heavyweight champion. No man has more defenses of this belt than the man you're looking at right there, Stipe Miocic to the surprise of very few at this point, getting it done with his athleticism and his power yet again here tonight.